Hey, this is Elijah with The Oxygen Team, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to roll your own membership site using Oxygen and easy digital downloads. I've created a very basic site layout here with a sales page and then a member area, which is just my blog archive. Nothing's restricted yet, uh, but I have the basic structure set up. Now let's jump into the dashboard and take a look at the plugins you're going to need to follow along. Obviously, you'll need Oxygen. You'll need the free Code Snippets plugin from the WordPress repo. And then you'll need easy digital downloads. If you want to base your content restriction for your membership site on a subscription, then you'll also need the easy digital downloads recurring payments add-on. I also have Faker Press, which you don't need, but I just used it to generate a bunch of random posts in order to demonstrate the setup we're gonna implement here. All right, so these are the plugins we need. Now we can jump into code snippets and take a look at the custom conditions we're registering. Now, if you're not already familiar with Oxygen's conditions feature, it's really one of the most powerful features in Oxygen that you can leverage to do some really, really interesting things. By default, you can use it to hide or show content based on whether a user's logged in or not, and several other built-in conditions come with Oxygen that let you kind of tailor the experience on the front end using PHP conditions applied to virtually any element in the builder. But part of that feature is also the conditions API, which lets us use PHP to register our own conditions. So I'm not going to go too in depth here, but I do want to briefly kind of highlight what we're doing here with our conditions API. So we have oxygen VSB register condition, which just lets us give our condition a name. Uh, some options if we want, the operators that we want to use to compare the two things in this condition, and then uh, register a callback function, and then a category for the condition. So both of these conditions that we'll be creating will go under the EDD category, which means they'll show up under an EDD heading in the Oxygen Conditions interface. So then we go down here and go ahead and define the callback function. So this first condition is going to address a single purchase. So this is just checking if a user has ever purchased a given download ID. So we have a couple of downloads registered here. Let's take a look. And you can find their IDs right here in the list by hovering over them. This is our monthly membership, and then this is our lifetime membership. So the first condition would deal with this lifetime membership. This is a one-time purchase, and the condition would let us check if this had ever been purchased by the user. So let's jump back over here, and basically what we're doing is we're grabbing the current user and storing it in a variable, and then we're grabbing the value and making sure it's an integer, and then we're checking on the operator and seeing if the operator is has purchased. If it is, we're using the edd underscore has underscore user underscore purchased function that comes with easy digital downloads to pass in the current user's ID and the value, which is going to be the ID of the purchase or of the download that we want to see if they've ever bought it. So in this case, it would pass 11 or whatever we put into the value field. And then if they've bought that, we return true, which means the thing we apply the condition to will be shown. If they haven't bought it, this doesn't return true, it returns false, and we do not show the thing this condition has been applied to. And then for the has not purchased operator here, we just do the inverse. We just add an exclamation point here. Uh, and if, if this indeed does return false, then we return true in our condition and else we return false. So this lets us show something only if someone hasn't purchased a given download ID. And then this other condition, and arguably the probably more useful one, is going to deal with subscriptions. So Easy Digital Downloads has an add-on that allows you to collect recurring payments or subscriptions, and this kind of handles checking if a user has an active subscription for a given download or product ID. So we register the condition in the same way we did for the first one, we have our own callback function here for the subscription uh, check. And then what we're doing a little differently here is we have the subscriber variable, which is going to be an instance of the EDD recurring subscriber object. We're passing in the current user ID, so whoever's viewing the page when this thing's getting evaluated. And then that gives us this subscriber object that lets us do things like down here, we do subscriber, run a method, get subscriptions. 
value, which is going to be the ID of the product we want to check if they have an active subscription to, and then an array of uh, statuses. So this actually tells us we're only looking for uh, subscriptions that are active. So this basically does the same thing as the previous condition did, except for we're checking for active subscriptions with a given ID. Now this isn't a coding tutorial, so I'm not gonna break it down any further than that. I'll actually give you a link to this entire condition code in the video description. You can copy and paste it into code snippets. That way you don't have to deal with writing it all from scratch or getting too deep into the way this code works if you're not already somewhat versed in PHP. So these conditions lay the groundwork for a membership site. So we have the ability to check if a user has bought something or has an active subscription or doesn't. And then we can show or hide things in Oxygen based on these conditions. So let's take a look at the front end of the site. And the first thing we might wanna do is protect our member area, okay? So if we go here, we have a post list, but we only wanna show this to people who have purchased a subscription. So if we go up and take a look, this is using the archive template, we can go ahead and jump into that archive template and go ahead and use our condition to restrict the display of this post list to only people who have an active subscription uh, to a given product. And because this is a simplistic example, we're going to use a single product ID for our subscription here. Let's go to downloads. And our monthly membership is an ID of 110. So that's what we're going to want to check against. So in our template, we're going to go edit with Oxygen. And now that we're in the builder, we have a very simple setup. Uh, we have a repeater, which is showing our posts, and that's about it. Now we have a couple options. We could leave some of this content visible for people that are not members, um, one way to do that would be to take this entire div here, uh, which actually this link wrapper here, uh, this is actually linked to the post. Um, we could actually duplicate that and then we could change the link to go to our sales page, which in this case is our home page, And then we could change this read article button to say, uh, join to read, something like that. And then we can apply our conditions to these link wrappers. Um, so let's go to conditions with this link wrapper selected. And we're gonna add our first condition. And we only really wanna show this if the user does not have a subscription. So we're gonna say EDD user is not subscribed to 110. And 110 is the ID of that subscription download. And then up here, on the initial link wrapper, we're gonna say we wanna show this if the user is subscribed. So we're gonna go set conditions, add our first condition. We're gonna go EDD user is subscribed to 110. And we're gonna save that. Now, if we look on the front end, we should only see one entry per post. So we have join to read because guess what? We're not subscribed. So we go back here and it takes us to our sales page. Member area, join to read. Now, just to show what happens when we actually subscribe, let's buy this, which is a really good deal, $0. Uh, that's not bad. And then we go to the member area. And now you see we have read article. And if we click our button, it takes us to the actual article. So that's just how simple it is to build membership-like functionality using Oxygen and its conditions feature. Now I'm gonna go back and remove my subscription so that I don't have to worry about it later when I'm testing. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete the subscription. We can buy it again later if we want. So that's our uh, member area. It's now protected. It now kind of prompts people to join, but it still gives them a little bit of a taste of the content of a post. And you can obviously tailor this however you want. You could actually remove the excerpt from the, uh, the non-member version, which not a bad idea, so I'll go ahead and do it. And so then people just get the titles and not the entire excerpt when they're not members. Okay. We're gonna utilize that one-time purchase condition now to do an upsell for current subscribers. So let's say we have uh, some posts that maybe will classify as level two. So let's go here and I'll show you how I've done that. So I've taken one of my posts and I've added a tag called level two. 
Now in Oxygen, if we go to Templates, we have uh, our single post template, which is applied to all singular posts. And then we have our level two template. So if we go into here, this is applied to all singular posts with a tag of level two. And the reason we need a separate template for this is because we want to apply some conditions to this that won't be in the normal singular posts. So we've also increased the template priority to ensure this does uh, take precedence over the default single post template. And then if we want to restrict this, say we want users to have bought uh, some kind of one-off purchase. Let's just go in here and we'll use this uh, lifetime membership. Let's just rename this level to access. Okay, so this is level two access and we want people to purchase this to access some of these level two posts which aren't included in the normal membership. So we'll jump over to our template here and then we'll edit this. And we know that this downloads ID is 11. So what we wanna do is we want to show this content only to people who have purchased level two access. So I have a little test here that I did to make sure that everything was working correctly. I'm gonna get rid of that. Now let's wrap the entire inner content element in a div because we wanna restrict this using conditions. Drop that in there. And now we can select the div and we'll apply a condition to it. We'll hit set conditions, add a condition, and we're going to edd user has purchased and the ID is 11, okay? So we're only gonna show this if they've purchased that one-off upsell or add-on or however you wanna frame it for your specific use case. So we'll close that out. Now that will only show if somebody's bought that. Now we need something to show if the user hasn't bought it. So probably we wanna tell them, hey, you should buy this other thing, even though you've already given us money, give us more and you can access this too. So we're gonna go into our library here and just find something really quickly. We'll go to sections and elements and just use a simple uh, call to action. Hopefully this one looks all right. Yeah, okay, so this is gonna be our little call to action that we'll show to try to prompt people to buy uh, level two access. Level two access and we'll just leave it at $152 because we're not actually uh, charging any money for it by now. Okay, and then let's just add something above that here. Let's add a little heading. And we'll make it an H2. And we'll say this post requires level two access. And we'll center it under typography, center that, and then add some spacing, some margin below it. All right, so that's really basic, but you get the idea. Now, because we want these both to be shown, uh, given a specific condition, we're gonna add a div and drop those in there. Same way we did with the inner content element because we want everything to use the same condition. Uh, so let's add our condition to this div. We're going to show this only if the user has not purchased the download with an ID of 11. So now let's go into the front end and take a look. This post requires level two access and this actually needs to be 100% width probably. I know the design doesn't matter a whole lot, but I still like for things to look okay. Okay, so this post requires level two access. Well, I don't have that, so I need to buy now. Now what we can do is this button, we can actually replace this with the easy digital download short code. So we're gonna do a short code element and we're gonna use purchase link, ID equals 11, text equals buy now. And this will just give us a quick way to uh, link people to this. And we're gonna hide the price, price equals zero. Uh, and then we'll put it into that CTA that we have here and get rid of this text link. All right, so that of course would need to be styled up a bit to make it cohesive with your design. But for this example, it'll fit our needs. So I need level two access to access this post, but first, I don't actually have a, a membership at all. So we need to make sure that only users that haven't bought level two access and have a subscription 
see this. Otherwise, they need to have a different call to action. So let's go in here and we'll just add another condition here to our same div. And we'll say, if they have not purchased 11, but the user is subscribed to 110, which is our membership, then we'll show that. So now if we go to the front end, we shouldn't see anything at all, right? So now we need another, uh, another little piece of display here to show to users that haven't bought anything. So if somebody gets in here for some reason, which they shouldn't be able to because we've restricted the post list, but if they get into it, we need to say, you need to join and buy, well, actually let's say, be a member with level, level two access to view this post. Okay, and we'll say membership and leave the price the same, but we're gonna change this uh, purchase link uh, ID to 110, which is our basic membership. And then let's adjust these conditions, set conditions. And we're going to say, if the user has not purchased 11 and has not subscribed to 110, they should see that. So let's jump to the front end and see if our magic has worked. So yeah, now if we get here for whatever reason, we can say, okay, we need to be a member with level two access. So let's buy it. We're going to check out. And this is our monthly membership. So we're gonna download that for free because we have an incredible discount code apparently. Now we can navigate back to our level two post, which is here. Oh, and now it requires level two access. So they want more of my money. <laughs> so as long as it's $0, why not? Level two access, we'll buy that. And then let's go back to the member area, click on our post, and now we can get into our post. So now you see we have not only a basic membership, but we also have upsells for existing members and conditional display for people that don't have any kind of product from us and those that only have like the first level. And I know you're saying probably like, why are we cluttering up our page with all these different divs with similar content in them? Isn't that a mess? Well, no, because Oxygen doesn't output anything if its conditions aren't met. So when these conditions aren't met, this whole div doesn't even appear in the markup on the front end. So it's super clean and super efficient. And you know, we could go a step further. You could go to your home page and you could actually tailor this whole experience on the home page to whether the user was a subscriber or whether the user had level two access, say there's a level three you wanna sell them, like you could show completely different sales pages depending on the user's level in easy digital downloads. And then say we wanna restrict some more posts to level two, let's go back to the admin. And this is just gonna be as simple as going to our posts and adding that level two tag here. So let's just add it to this post here. So we go in here and just add the level two tag. And now this post will be restricted to only users with level two. And because we've done everything in templates, we don't have to do any specific changes on a per post basis. It's just depends on which template it's being rendered by, which Oxygen's engine determines based on the post type and tags. So there are a lot of other things you can do here. I think you should if you need something like this, set it up and let your creativity run wild. Um, I'm not gonna get into every use case, but you can see here how the conditions feature combined with something like easy digital downloads makes it incredibly easy to set up a very flexible membership site using Oxygen. Thank you very much for watching.